Hi guys, today we're going to look at a problem that many of you have raised, that is exercise 3.1 question 6 on indices. So let's have a look at the problem. Okay, basically what we've got to do is we've got to find the values of x and y, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to simplify the left hand side so that we get a to the power of something times b to the power of something. In this particular case there are two rules that we've got to apply, so I'll just write them here. Here we've got rule 1. And rule one is that if we have a to the power of m all to the power of n, then that is equal to a to the power of mn. In other words, we multiply the powers. And the second rule is the division rule. If I've got a to the power of m and I divide it by a to the power of n, then I must get a to the power of m minus n, right? I subtract the powers. But what I want you to notice here especially is that the base, right, that number there, a, must be the same in order for this rule to operate, right? I can't have two different numbers there and use the rule. So let's get on. Let's try to apply it to this question. Well, firstly, I'm going to apply this rule, the rule number one, to a to the x to the power of two, because what I should get there is multiplying the powers to get a to the power of 2x, right? And everything else at the moment, we're just going to keep as the same, right? b to the power of 5 minus x there on the denominator, and b to the power of y minus 4, and a to the y, right? Everything else remains the same. Well, now what we've got to do is we've got to apply the division rule, and we've got to do it twice, right? Here we've got a to the power of 2x divided by a to the power of y. So what's going to happen there? Well, I've got to subtract the powers. So I'm going to get a to the power of 2x minus y. OK, and I can do the same thing for b. Here I've got b to the power of y minus 4 uh, divided by b to the power of 5 minus x. So what I've got to do is I've got to subtract those powers as well. So I'm going to end up with b to the power of y minus 4 minus 5 minus x. And this is where we've got to just be a little bit careful, I think, that we don't jump ahead too quickly. All right, we're going to simplify this one more time. Here, the a remains the same, so a to 2x minus y, that doesn't change. We're just going to expand this bracket out. So we're going to have b, y minus 4, minus 5, and then minus minus x is plus x is equal to a squared times b to the 4. Now what you should notice here is that the powers of a and the powers of uh, b must be the same. So looking at this, 2x minus y must be equal to 2, right? Because those powers there have got to be the same. So let me write that out. We're going to get 2x minus y is equal to 2. That's equation 1. That comes from equating the green parts. Second part, if I take the powers of b there, I highlight in blue, those must also be equal. So y minus 9 plus x must be equal to 4. Or I might just simplify it straight away and say uh, x plus y is equal to 13. Right? I've just uh, moved the minus 9 across. Well, here all we've got is we've got then simultaneous equations, haven't we? Actually, our problem with indices has disappeared. We've just got to solve these simultaneous equations. Uh, and how will that work? Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add those up. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it's going to cancel off the y's. So 2x plus x is 3x. The minus y plus y is 0y. So that's going to equal to 15. And therefore, x is equal to 5. OK, and if x is equal to 5, then we can just substitute in to the second equation. 5 plus y is equal to 13, and therefore y is equal to 8. So there you go. That's how you get your solution. x is equal to 5, and y is equal to 8. I hope that was helpful. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time.